Hello, Miss Evans. So, um, for my homework for the village, um, I decided to make it in Minecraft because I like to do that. Um, so basically, I am going to give you a tour of my Minecraft Victorian-inspired village. I'm very happy with how the lanterns came out because that was actually quite fun to do the lanterns. Um, so you have some houses here. Um. So these houses have big bay windows. Um, and the cool thing is, in this texture pack of Minecraft that makes the blocks look different, um, they had like, the glass had like small panes, which was actually cheaper in the Victorian era. So this is what most of the houses look like. They've got a rug. We didn't really know where to put the beds because the houses are a bit small. Uh, but they've got a fireplace, and that's Victorian. And they've got a table. Yes, very nice table. Um, on this side of the street, you have some shops. So this big yellow shop, um, this is the toy shop. So here you have a toy bow and arrow and some toy swords. You've also got a like toy compass if you wanted to play like explorers or something. And then like a lantern. You've got like a stick um, that you like wave around and stuff. <laughs> and then there's a book. Um, yeah, so you can also buy a book. Um, and, then there's, and then over here there's um, some toy gems. This looks like a spinning top, which is Victorian, so I guess that's fine. Um, and then this dude sells it, and I've made a hole. Oh well, <laughs> we're not gonna fix that now. Um, the shop next to it with the red front. Oh, um, quick fun fact. Um, the shops in Victorian era, they only had the fronts as a different colour. Like, the backs were, like, made of, like, bricks and stuff. Kind of like how these houses are, but with coloured fronts. Um, but the red shop is, like, a grocery. So, um, lots of foods. This is meant to be bread, but the texture pack makes it look really weird. Um, but that's bread. And then over here you've got like some candies and like you've got a pie and a cookie and like a toffee apple and then like a really long piece of candy. Um, but yeah, um, that's the grocery shop. And then around, oh, I'm also very happy with how the road came, turned out. Yeah, the road looks very nice. I'm very happy with that. Cobblestone looks very Victorian. Um, there's also a fountain here. Very nice fountain. Um, but round the corner, um, you've got a green shop. And this is like a pharmacy, or as the Victorians called it, an apothecary. <laughs> it's a really weird name, but that's what it was called. Um, so, you have like potions, like health stuff to do with like apothecaries and pharmacies. Um, and then this dude sells it all. So, um, yeah. That's that shop. So that's all the shops. Um, we have two other houses here. Very nice. We've got a table and a kitchen. Kitchen. Put stuff in the furnaces. Cook them. Another fireplace and a rug. Nice rug. Oh, and um, the slabs with these torches on. Um, now this idea was given to me my, by my mum. They kind of look like candles on like um like a plate thing <laughs> like attached to the wall to give like light as well as like from the fire. I had to turn off fire spread so that the houses wouldn't go up in flames. <laughs> you shut. Um so yeah. Oh every Every village has a fancy house. This is my take on a fancy house. Two bay windows and a fancy entrance. That's partly covered by a lantern, but who cares? 
So in the fancy houses, there's a very big kitchen. They've also got a hood for the oven. Yeah, none of the other houses have this have this hood. Um, it's why they're called rich people because they are rich. Um, big bay window. Hello, people outside in the world. There's actually no one in this world. It's literally just me. Um, but yeah. Um, nice big fireplace here and um, a table. And yes, I am standing on the table. Um, I thought I'd just do an upstairs, but we're not actually going to go up there because there's actually nothing there. Um, <laughs> but that's that house. Oh, and a nice purple rock because purple was a very hard colour to get. And you had to be very rich to get purple and stuff. So yeah and then the rest of the village there's just like decorated victorian houses you may have noticed that none of them have beds so the beds in the chinese mythology pack that we're using they look like chinese mythology beds so um we had that and we're just like how do we go around this so we just scrapped the beds and um yeah so there's no beds in any of the houses but in normally there would be beds in houses um but because we didn't know how to fix it um how to fix how it looks very chinese um so we just <laughs> we just left it um so yeah there's generally the only thing left to show is like all the many many houses um, but that's really it. So, um, yeah, but that's my homework. I hope this is still acceptable. I mean, technically I have done the homework. Just done it in a video game. This was very fun to do. Um, it took... So, I actually did this in two different settings basically so the first day which i first started it um i did i worked for two hours on it and um, my mum helped me a lot i would probably still be working on it at this time if um, she hadn't been helping me um and then the next day um i probably did another two-ish hours on it and just like fixed it and just like finished it and then today i spent like five minutes just like finishing to decorate all the houses and like check that they were all done and then um we filmed this so um yeah well that's my homework um my take on a victorian village with minecraft using chinese mythology the reason why i did this was because I, I i was just I was just annoyed at the glue, basically, with, like, making it with, like, cardboard. So, I'm just, like... So, my dad gave me the great idea of building it in Minecraft. And then this happened. So, um... I think it was mommy. No, you did it. You gave the idea. Okay. Um... So, yeah. And I'm swimming in the fountain. <laughs> okay! Um... But, bye-bye. Why?